Just like keyboard functions, GameMaker supports mouse functions, and they're very similar, it just detects the mouse instead of the keyboard. In my step event for my mouse, I've got this one script here that's mouse clicks. And inside, if I expand it, we can see that there are three things that I'm doing. One is mouse check button. This returns whether a given mouse button is currently down. So that's similar to how the keyboard was held down. So in my if statement, I have if mouse check button, mouse button left, there are variables for each button and we'll go over those. But right now I'm just checking if I'm holding the left button. And if I am, then I'm making my speed variable equal eight. Else, so if I'm not doing this, my speed returns to zero. That's where it starts. Now this isn't specific to mouse, move towards point, and we will cover move functions later, but I figured this was the best way to really show off how the mouse function works. So move toward point just moves this object towards the point that I'm indicating, which is the mouse's x position and the mouse's y position. These are variables that get the x and y position in the room of your mouse. And then how fast to do it? Well, we're going to do it by speed. So that's either 8 or 0. We also have mouse check button pressed, which is when it gets pressed, and only then, and it returns whether a given mouse button has just been pressed. And if we just press the right button, we're going to change our image index. This is the frame of our sprite, if you remember that. We're going to change it to frame number 1. This is the second frame in our sequence. It's also called a sub-image. Now if I release the right button, it will return our image index to the first sub-image, the first frame, that's 0. Remember, computers start counting from zero. So if I play the game, we can see what that looks like. We've got our little character here, and right now I'm not pressing any button. Now if I hold down the left mouse button, if you remember, it'll move toward the mouse's position at the speed of eight. That's what we set our speed variable to. Look at that. Pretty simple, and now we're following our mouse. And if I release, it's done. We reset our speed to zero. Now if you remember the right click, whenever I press it down, see I'm holding it right now, it's going to go to the second sub-image. That's our red frame. And if I release, it goes back to the first. So that's all I'm doing. When it presses, it goes to red, and when I release, it goes back to white. Now you're noticing this at the top, and you're like, what is that? What? It's changing sometimes, but not all the time. Well, that leads me to the next part. In my draw event, I have a variable called mLast, and that's going to equal the mouse last button. This is just a variable that's built into GameMaker that holds the last mouse button that was pressed. And then I'm just drawing it out. Nothing too crazy there. So if you were wondering what that top text that was being drawn was, it was just mouse last button. It was telling me, that's the last button you pressed. Now, if there are a few more mouse functions we can go over, and that's the scroll wheel, if you have it. So I've just said, if the mouse wheel goes up, then every scroll of the mouse wheel, every click of it, every tick, the Y position of this object will move up by 10. And if I scroll down, it'll move down by 10. Just something simple to show how the mouse scroll wheel works up and down. And the last one is mouse clear. This will clear the down state of a currently pressed mouse button. So if I, remember this, keyboard check pressed, VK backspace. So if I press the backspace key on my keyboard, we're going to clear the down state of any button. Let's quickly hop into here and show you the things we can check for a button. We can check the mouse button left, the middle, the right, if no button is being pressed and if any button is being pressed. Really simple because most mice only have three standard buttons. If we return back to GameMaker, and I run the game again, you can see when using the scroll wheel, the character moves up and down by 10 pixels. Pretty simple. Now, if you remember, when I'm holding the left button down, the player follows. But if I press backspace, See, it's still registering that I'm holding down the left click, but it's not following anymore because I cleared the down state. It's like I released the mouse click without actually triggering a release state. So let's do that again. If I hold down the right button, if you remember, that makes me 
red, but if I hit the backspace key, nothing happens. See, it didn't trigger the release of the button. It just clears it being held. That's a little different from IO clear function from the keyboard functions video. That just gets rid of this line of text. It's like it gets rid of the state that's being held in the variable, but doesn't actually get rid of it. This does. So that's a good thing. We can just press backspace and, oh, the mouse isn't working anymore.